Hello children, I'm so happy to see you again. Are you happy to be here with me? I am very delighted to have you. So I would like to uh, ask you to go out, uh, go next door. Maybe your brother is in the sitting room or in the bedroom. Call, call them out, call them out and let's all start the Sunday school lesson together. Okay? Are we ready to start? Yes. Okay. Let's start with our welcome song. Hello. 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 It's nice for me to have you here. It's nice for me to have you here. You're all very welcome. I want to say a special welcome to all my friends from Jokorera. Hello, Nathan. Hello, Jojo. Hello Joey, hello Aksam, hello all the children. Hello children from DC Makere Hill, hello Israel, Miracle, hello Joshua. It's so good to have you all listening in and watching. I am so thankful to God for this opportunity for us to learn again. So we are going to continue our lesson. Uh, about creation. I am so excited. Do you know why I'm so excited? Today we are going to learn about how God created man. Can we say together man? Man. God created man on the day number six. So we have five and one and when we put them together they make it number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. So, day number six, God made man. But before we start our story, I would like us to sing our Bible song. Do we have our Bibles? Okay, I will ring the bell three times. One, two, three. And if you've not got your Bible, Within those three times I ring the bell, you should go get your Bible. And here I go. Have you got your Bible? Yes. Do you have your Bible? No. Ah, people have got their Bibles. Yes. Can we sing our Bible song? Okay. I have my Bible here. And we're going to sing the song together. I will hold my Bible so that I can part it nicely and comfortably. Okay. Oh. Ready? Are we ready? Yeah. Take your little mm -hmm. hand and part, part, part. Take Good. your little hand and part, part, part. Take your little hand and pat, 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 pat the Holy Bible faster. Take your little hand and pat, 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 take your little hand and pat, 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 take your little hand and pat, 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 pat. The Holy Bible. So, the Holy Bible is where our story about creation is coming from. So, children, our, our story is coming from the book of Genesis, chapter, chapter one, 1, verse 26 20. to 31. One. So, I will not read the whole story for you, but I'm going to tell you the whole story. When God finished working on day number six, creating the animals that we saw last time, the wild animals, the elephant, and the giraffe, 
the bear, the zebra, the horses. He also made some domestic animals. The goat, the chicken, the pig, the sheep, the animals that we keep at our homes. Then he decided to make man. So God sat together with God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and they decided to make man, and they made man in God's image. And guess what? God made a, ma a male man first, a boy man, with lots of hair and lots of beards, like daddy. Some of your daddies have very many beards on their face. And God also made a woman on that same day. And the woman was made with beautiful hair and a very nice smooth face. And those women that God made even today, even me, God continued to make people. And here I am as a mummy, and you also have a mummy at home, you also have a daddy at home whom God made. So children, God, after making man and woman, he placed them in the Garden of Eden, where he had planted, where he had put the animals, where he had put the trees, the fruit-bearing trees, like you can see in this, my small picture here, there are some animals, there is Adam, and there is Eve, and there is a bird feeding from Eve's hands. So he put man in the garden. Then God did something else. He commanded the man to multiply and fill the earth. And that is, the, the command to multiply means that God told man and woman to have children so that their children can have children and more children, so that we have this whole world filled with people. God did something else. He blessed the man and the woman. Then he also gave them an instruction to govern or to rule or to take leadership for the whole world. So man and woman were given the power and authority from God to take care of the animals, to take care of the plants, to take care of everything that God has put on earth. See, that is a lot of responsibility and a lot of good work that God gave to man and woman. So, God did not stop at that. He also gave them all the trees and gave them all the seed producing plants he gave them all the fruit producing plants do we know any plants that produce fruit yes there is a mango tree it's a tree and it produces fruit who has ever eaten a mango I have eaten a mango and it is very juicy and sweet, especially if you get a nice big one that has grown and it is ripe. It is so mwah, yummy. Then God gave man all animals, the big animals, the small animals. Do you know any small animals? Yes, who remembers the bunny? Yes, it's one of the small animals that God gave man so that he can use them for food. So sometimes we keep our bunnies and when they grow older, we cut them and cook them for food. We also keep chicken. Those are all animals that God gave us as man to eat. So God did something also. He gave man authority and responsibility he gave them work to take care of these animals he didn't tell them just eat the animals he said you take care of the animals and then you will also eat them for food i have some pictures here i would like to show you 
pictures of some of the animals. Who knows what this animal is? This is a chicken. Aha, uh -huh. and this one is a goat and its family. We have uh, father goat, mother goat, and baby goat. Do you know the name of a baby goat? A baby goat is called a kid. Other animals that God gave man are here. This animal likes saying, moo. That is daddy cow, mommy cow, and a baby cow. Do we know what a baby cow is called? A baby cow is called a calf. So children, I would like to have some friends come and tell us more about other animals that God gave man. What sound does a lion make? <coughs> God made the lion and asked man to take care of the animals like lions. Uh-huh. Which animal is this? It's a giraffe. Baby, this is a horse, not a giraffe. Which animal? It's a horse. What what sound does a horse make? Nay. <coughs> it neighs. Uh-huh. And then what animal is this? A giraffe. Are you sure that's a giraffe? Think again. It looks like a horse, but it lives in the wild. It lives in the bush. It's called a zebra. It's called? Zebra. Good job. Now God made all these animals and asked man to take care of them. Which animals are these? The cows. Do you know the sound the cows make? Moo. Good. So man takes care of cows also. And this animal is called? A chicken. What sound does it make? Good job. And then we are back to the lion. Thank you so much for helping me. Can you ring the bell before you go? Good job. <laughs> Children, today I would like us to remember one, two, three things. The first thing that we should remember is that God created man in his own image. That you and I, mommy and daddy, are all made in God's image. All people on the earth, the black people, the white people, the red people, the yellow people, people from all over the world are all made in the image of God. Then the second thing that I would like us to remember is that God created man to take care of the world, to take care of the plants and the animals, to take care of the land and dig it and slash the grass and make it beautiful. God also created man to multiply and fill this whole big wide world and also rule it. So that's it from, from our Bible lesson today. I would like us to get ready to pray. And before we pray, I would like us to sing one song about mommy and daddy. Are you ready to sing a song about mommy and daddy? Yes. Good. I am also ready. Now, daddies have scratchy faces very rough beards they have hair on their face the hair that grows on daddy's chin is called a beard and sometimes it makes the face feel so scratchy and then mummies have very smooth 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 faces so we're going to sing a song about daddy and mommy are you ready 
Yes. Okay, here we go. Daddy has, has a scratchy face, scratchy face, scratchy face. Daddy has a scratchy face, daddy loves me. Daddy has a scratchy face, scratchy face, scratchy face. Daddy has a scratchy face, daddy loves me. Mommy face is also smooth, so so smooth, also smooth. Mommy's face is also smooth. Mommy loves me. Mommy's face is also smooth, also smooth, also smooth. Mommy's face is also smooth. Mommy loves me. So we will go on and pray, uh, but before we pray, I would like us to humble ourselves and sing our song that we usually sing just before we pray. Are we ready to sing? Yes. Okay. God is listening. God is listening. When we pray, when we pray, put our hands together. Close our eyes so quietly, then we will pray, then we will pray. God is listening, God is listening, when we pray, when we pray, put our hands together. Close our eyes so quietly, then we will pray, then we will pray. Dear God, we thank you for creating man and woman. We thank you that you have blessed them. We thank you for the instructions that you gave them to multiply and fill the earth. Thank you for all the animals and the plants that you gave us for food. We pray that, oh God, you will teach us every day to take care of them and to be good stewards. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you, children, for being with me in this lesson. And I would like to say goodbye to you in a very, very special way. Who knows that special way we say goodbye? Yes, we say goodbye in song. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. Goodbye. 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 Till we meet again another day till we meet again another day bye bye all. bye 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 Hello friends! Hello Teacher Angel! Hello Teacher Dennis! How are you doing? I'm very okay. Where have you been all this time? We've been around just the lockdown. I know, it yeah. has been a while. I'm yeah. glad to be here. Yes. Friends out there, you're very, very welcome. Thank you for coming today. Yes, it has been long since we last had you here. Hope you guys are keeping safe. Yes, and we have a lot in stock for you. So get ready, call your friends, call your neighbors, call everyone around the house because we are starting the service. Yes, but before we go into that, let's have a prayer. Yes. Hands together. Eyes closed. Dear Heavenly Father, we as your children, we come unto you, Lord Father. Bless us, be gracious to us, help us to walk in the righteousness and help us to be faithful stewards. In Jesus' name, I pray. 
Amen. Amen. Now, friends, guess what? It's time for us to go and praise and worship. worship. Yes. Now, this time around, we're going to be led by our friends, the Wanderers. So get ready as we go into the session. Yes, I'm so excited. Me too. I'll praise the Lord every day when my mouth talks. I'll praise the Lord when my feet walk. I'll praise the Lord with a smile on my face. I'll praise the Lord that made all of me to praise. I praise the Lord every day with my eyes and my ears, my hands and my feet. I praise the Lord every day when my mouth talks. I'll praise the Lord where my feet walk. I'll praise.
Well, yes, thank you, the Wanderers, for that wonderful praise and worship session. We really enjoyed and we were really blessed. Yeah. But before we go into our lesson with teacher pensions, we have an energizing, fun activity for you. Yes, and I hope you are ready now, children. If you are ready, please just raise up. Are we you are ready? Re we teacher are re Angel, are you ready? We are ready. Are you ready? We are ready. Do you remember this song that goes... My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. They all belong to Jesus. Oh, do you yes, know I one? really do remember, remember it. I remember it. That's very good. And yes. friends, how many of you know that song? They know. I hope they do know. Now, this is the time we are going to go through the song slow but sure. Are you ready? Yes, we are okay. ready. Okay, now get some space. Tell your neighbor, give me some space. Uncle Dennis, give me some uh -huh. space. Okay, now one, two, two three. three. Let's go. go. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. They all belong to Jesus. Now, let me see which people can do it faster. Hmm? How many of you can do it faster? Me, I'm going to do it faster. I'm also going to do it okay, faster. let's do this. Yeah. One, two, two three. three. Let's go. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. They all belong to Jesus. Faster. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. They all belong to Jesus. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. They all belong to Jesus. My head, my shoulders, my knees. My head, my shoulders, oh, my knees. I have Teacher won you. Daddy. I have won. How many of you have won this game? They have. They I have. I have won, Teacher Angel. Shame upon <laughs> you, Teacher Angel. You I did. was the first. Oh, that's amazing Ooh. of you, Uncle Dennis. Yeah. Praise the Lord, children. You're welcome to today's online service. I'm Teacher Patience, and I'm happy to be here. Let's humble ourselves for a word of prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for creating us in your own image and help us to be a living sacrifice. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So as we start this month, we're going to be learning about offering ourselves as living sacrifices to God. And... Before we start the lesson, we're going to match a few items, which I've written here. So we have the spirit, the soul, and the body. Then on the other side, we have the bug, the will, and the real you. So we have the spirit. This is the real part of a person. The part of a person which goes to God when they die. Then we have the soul. This is that part of you that makes your decisions, that have, has your emotions, your feelings. So it's the will. And then the body is the physical part of someone that we see. And that's the bug. The body carries both the soul and the spirit. So when we say the body, we'll be referring to the soul, the spirit, and what we actually see. So let's turn our Bibles to the scripture for the month, which is Romans chapter 12 from verse 1 to 2. And it says, So then, my brothers and sisters, because of God's, God's great mercy to us, I appeal to you, offer yourselves as a living sacrifice to God, dedicated to his service and pleasing to him. This is the true worship that you should offer. Do not conform yourselves to the standards of this world, but let God transform you inwardly by a complete change in your mind. Then you'll be able to know the will of God, which is good and pleasing to him and is perfect. So in relation to what we've just matched, we've said the body contains the spirit, the soul, and the body. This means that when the scripture says we should offer ourselves as a true and as a living sacrifice to God, it means that we need to give our spirit, our soul, and our body to God. This, this is, when we talk about the spirit, this is when we accept Jesus. It means we go to him and pray to him, 
we read the word, we do things that build us on the inside, that prepare us to serve him as children of the kingdom. Then the soul, this is that part of us that makes the decisions. When someone preaches to you or when you preach to someone and you ask them, do you want to receive Jesus? When they have accepted in their hearts and say, yes, they want to receive Jesus, that is a soul that has decided to accept Christ into their lives. Then the body, of course the body is what we see. So children of God are not always sad because you read the Bible every day, you encourage one another. And these are things we see on the outside. Your actions every single day tell that you are a child of God. So when we offer ourselves as living sacrifices, offer our bodies to God, it means we give everything to Him. This part of our memory verse is from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, from verse 19 to 20. And it says, Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, who lives in you, who was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourselves, but to God. He bought you at a price. Use your bodies for God's glory. Again, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you, who was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourselves, but to God. He bought you for a price. So use your bodies for God's glory. I have a few questions to ask you as we reflect on this memory verse. Do you make time to commune with God? You as a person, you as a child, do you make time to pray to God, to read his word, besides listening to us on Sunday service or praying with mommy, then do your thoughts, feelings, and decisions reflect God in your life? When your, your brother pinches you, do you pinch him back or you tell him you forgive him because Jesus loves him? Then does your physical body show that God is active in you? Are you always sulky, angry, or are you always smiling and praising God? Yes, so in conclusion, let us all receive Jesus into our lives so that we can see a change on the inside and outside. So if you've not received Jesus into your life or you've been living life like a bad child, I ask you to say this prayer with me so that Jesus can come into our lives and make us new. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to die for our sins. I ask that you come into my life and Make me a new creation. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So children, if you say that prayer, you've accepted Jesus into your lives. And if you let him, he'll lead you through each and every single thing that you do. Let's humble ourselves for the final prayer as we close this lesson. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for your word and for blessing us each and every morning. We ask that you help us to be good children and that you help us to offer ourselves as a living sacrifice to you each and every day that goes by. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Stay blessed, children. Goodbye. We'll be back, friends. How was the session? It was awesome. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Yes. Now, I would like to remind us that we have a memory verse. Teacher Angel, yes. do you know our memory verse? I know, Rita. Where verse. does it come from? It comes from 1 Corinthians uh -huh. chapter 6 uh -huh. and verse 19. What does it say? Let me see you on this one. It says, mm -hmm. do you not know mm -hmm. that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. who is in you mm -hmm. and whom you received from God? Wow, that was awesome. Now, friends, we are going to do it together. Okay? Are you ready to recite the memory verse with us? They are ready. Very slow and sure. Are you yes, ready? Yes, yes. Okay, one, two, three. three. Let's go. First Corinthians chapter, chapter 6, verse, verse 19. 19. What does it say? Do, Do you, you not, not know, know that, that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Spirit? Who is, who in, is you? in you? Who will we receive from God? God? Wow, now we're going to add action. Tell your neighbor, we are adding action. We are adding action. Okay, now our actions are going to be like this. Okay, ready? First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Again. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. What does it say? Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Okay, we repeat that. Do you, Do you not know, know that, that your body, body 
is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Okay, can we continue, children? Yes. Yes. Who is in you? Whom you received from God. Okay, let's proceed. Let's continue that part. Who is in you? Whom we received from God. Now, let's roll it from the top. Are we ready? We are ready. Are you really ready? We are ready. Show me some actions if you're ready. Me, we I'm are ready. ready. Okay, let's go. First, First Corinthians, Corinthians chapter, chapter 6, verse 19. 19. Do, Do you, you not, not know that, that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Spirit? Who, Who is in you? Whom you received, received from God. God. Okay, yes. let's do it one more last time. First Corinthians chapter, chapter 6, six verse, verse 19. <laughs> what does it say? Do, do you, you not know, know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Spirit? Who, Who is in you? Whom you received from God. God? Wow, children, clap. For yourselves, you Yay! did so well. That was so amazing. We can't wait to hear from you the next time. Now, children, thank you so much for being part of this good session. But before we go, we'd like to remind you to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. So that you can receive a notification each time we upload a new service. children welcome back once again we are the anti-corona squad and we are here to encourage you on how to fight corona through wearing your masks at all time when you are in public use the sanitizer each time you touch unclean surfaces use the shield of faith and remember that God can save you and protect you from the deadly disease and mostly use the sword of the spirit so that you can fight and against Corona and pray against Corona. Yes, and remember the Bible when it says in Philippians, Philippians chapter, chapter 4, 4 verse 6, Do not be anxious about anything, but, but in everything, through prayer and, and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he turn his face towards you and give you peace. Now, friends, that's, that's all, all we had for you. you. See, See you next Sunday. Sunday. Bye. Bye.